let's talk about the referee gun now. The referee gun, not surprising, is for the referees and the CEOs to help run the game. It is feature packed. And of course, once again, a lot of power, so you need to use it properly. The referee functions are broken up into two general classes. One is the infrared ones. Infrared is where you point, right, and use the out the front here, a little infrared emitter. And it spreads the beam really wide, so it's really easy. It doesn't go too far, which is good, but that's what you use. And also, you've got an antenna. Well, the reason for that is you've got radio functions. And radio functions affect everyone in the same battle. So, go over a few more of the infrared functions. One of the most common things you do with a referee gun, of course, is respawn. Respawn works on gaming guns that are currently dead. And it basically represents a new soldier entering the battle. And this is part of a core concept of Battlefield Live. What are we about? Well, one of the things we're about is doing things like base assaults and that sort of stuff. You need to be able to respawn people efficiently, as well as bring them back to life. The ref gun actually counts the number of respawns it does, and it does it pretty in a smart way too. It, if you respawn three people, the radio feedback comes on and actually cues three radio feedback. So you, you generally do one, two, or three at once, and it, and it counts them pretty accurately. So RF's never 100%, but I find it very reliable, and certainly a lot more reliable than my staff ever were encountering it. So it's a very good feature. For example, we can do a pause and resume with infrared. Now, why would you use this? Sometimes look, I might have a word to one of the players. You're doing something I don't particularly like. I go up there, pause their gun. Their gun doesn't work. They'll now talk to me. <laughs> okay, I explain in my usual manner what I want them to do. And then I'll resume them again with the next function. So it starts them up again. Bang, <coughs> just resume, and away you go. You can use the also the referee gun to do a reset to defaults, which I discussed a little bit earlier on in videos. It basically shoots them, sets them back to a factory set of defaults. Okay, it doesn't change the gun class, but everything else goes back to the defaults. It's a really useful feature. Okay. Well, you can use it very rarely, but your referee gun does have a kill mode. If you shoot them, the referee gun actually sets them. No matter how many points are on, they're going to go to dead. Alright, and then followed by that, it's going to shoot, which is basically shoot, and that will actually trigger one hit. Don't use it very often, but it's sometimes if we're simulating something where we need to hit a lot of people quickly, uh, and, you know, we can use that feature. After that, not used as much, but we still use it. It actually has reload ammunition. So if they come back to the their base and assume that's an ammunition dump or some description, right, they can get some more ammunition. So you shoot them with that, bang, and it will reload them. Okay, which is really useful as well. We can also start a this new mission or new game infrared. You can start any, it doesn't matter what state the current gun is, if you shoot it, as long as it's turned on with a key, hit it with the ref gun U mission, and it's going to start a U mission. Okay, which we don't use very often, we usually use the radio to do that, but you can do it sometimes. Bang, 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 start these guys off. Sensor test. Good feature. Now, you know what, in the game, occasionally you're thinking, gee, that person, they should be getting hit. What's happening here? I better go and test their sensor. And use the sensor test, and it shoots. The sensor, the sensor should flash when it gets hit, but otherwise it doesn't affect the gameplay at all. It's not shooting them. It's just testing the sensor in real time, and the game can continue. You got behind them, bang, oh, it's working. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, I need to do something about that. Got to tell you, now with the U-Optic sensors, I hardly ever see a sensor fail. Of course, it will happen, but it's so rare I hardly ever do this. So the technology moved on fantastically, but there you are, sensor test if you're in doubt. Covered shoot. Now we're going to go into the, some of the radio functions. The most useful thing, of course, is the game start and game end via radio. So, how do we run a session? Well, we, we actually issue the gaming guns as people arrive, turned on and shooting. So uh, they can learn to how to play before we even do a formal briefing. We do a video briefing going, often go and see that. 
But when we want to start doing the official briefing ourselves, we do a game end. Okay, and the game end stops all the games, guns, they just stop completely, and they say mission complete, or if using alternative sound effects, they might say game over. So you can use that to end the game. And then, no, no one's shooting. Talk to everybody, take them into position, then you do a, a mission start, right? The start radio, everyone gaming gun starts. One thing is, look, you probably got about 200 meters range with that. If the teams are a long way apart, you might want to get both referees to do a start for the, each team to catch everybody's gaming gun so they kick off. All right, so that's just a little thing you might want to do. You can also pause a game by radio, and we've got an example where we work a lot with a place with a lot of horses, and occasionally, about every couple of hours, a horse ride comes right through. They're a bit skittish, these horses, so we just pause the game. Sometimes we might pause it for a, if there's a medical situation we need to deal with and really need to stop people playing. Doesn't happen very often, but it's a very handy feature if used correctly. And then, of course, you can resume by radio as well and get them started. Now, getting on some of the other features you can do, you can set things like the difficulty level by radio. You don't have to set every game and gun. And setting difficulty also sets the hit points to the default. So, if you want to set a difficulty level, that's great. Then change the hit points after that. You can do that with a ref gun as well. We can also set the hit points, so how many hits before they die with the referee gun. Um, that's pretty handy too, use that quite a lot. So after the beginning of the day we turn them on. First thing we do is use the referee gun to do a deep set reset to defaults, set them all back to neutral, then we use set the difficulty level, then if needed we'll change the hit points, and that's pretty much how we set the gaming gun. You might also need to set the teams of the ref gun. Um, and this is where you want to turn the friendly fire off to get a bunch of people. But you probably use the ones you've already issued the gaming gun, so they've selected what they want. You get one team together, go zap, set them to team A, go over here, zap, set these guys to team B, and team A can't hit team A. Don't use that with older players unless it's indoors or inflatables. Uh, but with young children, indoors, very good idea. All right, use that feature, and the ref gun's a quick way to do that. Um, you can also set the weapons. One of the things we do with set weapons, we don't... I understand that some people think about this idea of cloning. We don't think that's a very good idea. That's actually... Because you don't want every gaming gun to stay the same. Right? To work the same. We don't want my machine guns to work like submachine guns. I'll give you an example. We might be doing a Russian force. And we want all this, you know, the rifles to basically work at AK-47s. We want all the machine guns to work like RPK machine guns. You might all want the submachine guns to be the PPS CH sub range submachine guns. And we set those and we might even the handgun might be the Magarov. Right? So we, we set that on the ref gun. We want all the handguns to go to Magarov. You know, we want all the rifles to go AK-47. And you go that and go zap with your ref gun and they all get set. That's much better than anything like cloning. That's just ridiculous. Right? You need to set to the right class and then you get the what you see is what you get, right? And it, following that also is what you hear is what you get because every weapon has a distinct sound effect, right? And so I, the, obviously the RPK sounds like like RPK. So these are the key features of the referee gun. Um, enjoy it. It's, it's very powerful.